So Riku isn't that close to mastering Gun Mage, but she is close to learning all of the abilities that you can learn by gaining ability points. Of course, Gun Mage has a bunch of other abilities that you learn by getting hit with them. Yes. Because Gun Mage equals Blue Mage. And if you've watched my Final Fantasy VIII Let's Play, then there will be a several abilities in there as th that you recognize as blue magic. I'm not sure that guy would want to marry... would want to marry her. Oh, okay. Looks like Jen is... coming, possibly? Alright, um... She's still part of this conversation, I think so. Yeah. What? There's nothing coming up saying she's left. What? There's nothing coming up saying she's left, so she should be able to join straight away. Alright. Um. I'll just add her to the call. Getting in here, see? Hello? LeBlanc broke into hi. our airship. Hello! Anything goes for the hi. great LeBlanc. Oh, hi, dude. <sighs> anyway, um, put, uh, follow the link and just put the, uh, put the thing at one hour. I'll tell you when to start. Okay. Alright, so all you have to do in Guado Salam is walk up to these guards and have the cutscene play. Uh, and that's all the percentage points you can get from here in this chapter. Jen, you got it at an hour? Uh, one hour, eighteen. Okay, one hour, eighteen seconds. Mm -hmm. Alright, uh, I'll tell you when to start it soon. So you can get hints as to where the uh, where you have to go if you don't know already. Jen, start in three, two, one, now. Yeah, so you can get hints as to where to find those three uh, LeBlanc Syndicate uniforms. Although if you really think about it, it's probably not good to go asking around because, you know, the, the LeBlanc goons are right here, possibly listening, and if they know that the Gullwings are going to be showing up disguised as them, then that's not... Yes, exactly. <laughs> he thinks they just want to wear them because they like the way they look. All right, so we've we've heard desert, we've heard mountain, and we've heard not in Guadalajara, which is very not specific. This is like the stupid Triforce quest in uh, Wind Waker. Nobody <laughs> knows except Tangle, and he asks for a lot of money. Yes, because he's a jerk like that, basically. Oh, and then there are the fish who think that they're the Triumph Forks. Yes. Those silly talk. Well, I mean, they're talking fish. You gotta cut them some slack. True, true. Anyway, uh, I think there's also somebody in there who will give you the hint that you should be looking near Jose Temple. Yes, if you manage to dodge 200 freaking lightning bolts in a row. Max Moon combo. <laughs> Alright, so this little thing, uh, you do not have to do this for 100%. 
However, you can get uh, you can get something nice if you do it, and it will also uh, get you better rewards in a later thing that you do have to do. But you don't have to do this one. Alright, so there are uh, some of the towers Yuna will do, some Riku will do, and some Pain will do. Riku's is pretty simple, uh, just press the button that's shown on the screen. Uh, looks easy, it gets a lot harder. It, of it does. Well, yeah, it starts just with the four buttons on the right of the controller. Um, and everything shows up in the same spot on the screen. But as you progress, the it'll start showing up at different spots on the screen. Um, it'll get faster, and it'll start using more buttons than just those four. Also, although on this tower, maybe not. On this tower, maybe it sticks to those four. You're allowed two misses. On the third one, you, uh, you fail. If you get up to 30, then it ends, and you succeed. 30 uh, hits. See, it's going faster now. Alright, that was one of the easier ones, of course, so... I didn't have much trouble. Yeah, um, another thing I should say is that... Many of the rewards, not all of them, but many of them you will get simply if you attempt to calibrate each one, no matter how badly you do. So even if you're really bad at them, just go to all of them and try once. That's what I'm doing. Some of them I get, some of them I don't. See that I'm much better at one type than I am at the other two. <laughs> so Jen, I was saying to Annie at the beginning of this session, I have moved. Uh -huh. Yeah, I saw, I saw your post about it. Yeah. Um, I'm in downtown Baltimore now. No more silly garage door noise. Nope, no more silly garage door noise. Although I suppose if the baby next door is loud enough, you might hear it. <laughs> Why do you find that so funny? Have you been waking up at that hour for any particular reason, or...? Yeah, oh. yeah, sometimes that happens to me. And then there's me, woke up at 3.45 p.m. But that wasn't today, you messaged me before that. Alright, so with pain, you will see three buttons on the screen. One of them will flash, uh, which means you need very good reaction time to do this successfully. I find these the toughest. As you see, <laughs> Yes, I am screwing these up already. So if I'm doing this. What? Yeah, I have a tough time with those, because I suppose there are two ways to do it. You could just look for the flashing one, and then, you know, if you had really fast reaction time, then you could do it like that. Uh, but if you don't, then you'll have to look at all three of them, and just, when you see which one flashes, hope you can react quickly enough. 
At least they always show up in the same part of the screen. Yeah. It's kind of nice. Hey, there's a red X on the map. Think we should check it out? Always. Of course. Uncle Sid, what are you this doing? This is the one thing that you need to do what? for uh, percentage points in, in this place, in this chapter. You need to see this cutscene. Uh, come on, Uni. Let's go. Wow. Uh, uh, leave him. I wonder what's wrong. Well, she knows him better than the other two. Yeah. He's all bent out of shape because you told him off. That's mature. Yeah, this will only happen if you decided to give him a piece of your mind in the last chapter. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now we see Yuna's one. Uh, this is the one that I find easiest. It's just... Says. Yes. <laughs> Again, this tower will be easier than the ones uh, that come later. How many towers are there? There are ten of them. However, you will only see nine on the map. You have to do something else to get to the other. Of course. Always. But I mean, if if you got if you got to nine of them, it would be you might think you'd gotten to all of them because it would be you wouldn't see any others on the map, and each of the characters would have three to do. However, if you go to the guy, the uh, the guy who was calibrating that tower, the Albed dude, uh, you can find him in the travel agency, and he'll tell you how you're doing. So if you went to him, and you thought you'd gotten all the towers, he would tell you that you hadn't gotten one of them. That's slightly less evil. And you, you can you can you can't see the tower on the map, but you can see it. Just have to figure out how to uh, how to calibrate it. Yeah, I'll probably. Go dance. What? Do you animate your airship go dance? Mesmerize it with your mesmerize it with your calibrations. <laughs> Anyway, it's probably good to have the brightness turned up on your TV or monitor when you're doing this so that you can see what buttons those are. I'm sorry, I'm just imagining that in the dirtiest way possible. Uh, excuse me, princess. <laughs> oh, yeah. They just gave me four squares in a row. Four square and seven years ago. Alright, like I said... Like I said, I find uh, I'm I'm good at those, <laughs> the memory ones. Oh, that would be a case of iMovie not doing very precise cuts. I'll have to be careful about that in the future. Yeah, I was telling Annie I'm using the new version of iMovie now. I have been for the last, uh, I don't know, couple of months, which would probably equate to about 10 videos. 